The Southeastern Summer Theater Institute is in its 15th summer. We're preparing to bring high school musical theater students from all over the country for this program where they are in a professional show. They get a professional credit on their resume before they enter college. It's an unreal experience for a high school kid to be a part of. So this is week one here at SSTI, which is the greatest week of the year for me because it's when my whole staff comes in. Um, I have been, I'm the sole employee of SSTI for the good portion of the year. And when May 25th, which was this year hit, the staff arrives and I can kind of take off all the hats that I've been wearing and turn them over to people who are far more capable and skilled and, and talented than I am in all their specific areas. And I gratefully pass the ball and, and let them support me because by the time we get here, it's kind of like passing the baton. I am, I am worn out at the finish line of working alone. So when the staff gets here, it's, it's the greatest day for me, for sure. We've been here this week prepping um, as much as we can prep theoretically, physically on the set, um, organizationally, lots of spreadsheets happening everywhere just to be sure that we are ready for every avenue that uh, the adventures of professional theater and educational theater can take us in the summer because it, it can go lots of different ways and we have to be ready for any way uh, the road takes us here over the next uh, 12 weeks. Being an alumni and coming back to work actually hasn't been as difficult as I thought it'd be. I think it's done nothing but help me to appreciate the work I'm doing um, and also already have a grasp on what's going on around me. Because I, I mean, SSTI was very formative in my decision to go into the performing arts. But something else I also discovered while here as a student was watching Ben and the rest of the management team do their thing and just be incredible mentors made me want to be on the other side of the table. And so the bottom line is, is that every day I get to come here and like work with incredible people and work to make the program that was so special to me happen for other people, which is probably the best part. Jumping into an endeavor like this, do you expect there to be curveballs? The one that I did not expect was that our technical director, who is in charge of basically the entire operation, um, had a family emergency four days before the contract's supposed to start, four days before he is responsible for 30 employees. On a Sunday afternoon, I get a call that he's not going to join us on Wednesday. Um, I panicked for about 35 seconds and then got to work, and we have had our scenic designer, Matthew Imhoff. He has jumped in to be our technical director. He already knew the designs. He's not missed a beat. It's a matter of keeping just enough far, far ahead of what the shop needs. Um, it's been a stressful process um, generating um, not just the design and, and managing what the director needs, what stage management needs, um, what, what the shop needs from me as a designer, but also making sure that the carpenters and the painters have information as to what they're building and that we have the supplies here, that we have um, the materials and things they need to successfully build and we have the shop mobilized. So it has been kind of a whirlwind here, but I think it's, it's a testament to the people we have working with us that they can trust what's going on, that they can step in and build things well, um, that they can build things quickly. Paints is working on wrapping up some of the window flats that we built last week um, and um, some other things as they finish coming out through the carp shop that they're going to, to paint and get ready to get installed later this week. We've got our benches um, for Music Man. Um, we got those from a church and those are being modified and retrofitted um, so that the actors can use those on Tuesday. Props is working on a piano that we just got. Um, beautiful vintage piano from the 1890s. We're working on getting that rolling better um, so that it can move on and off stage 
um, for our scene changes quickly. I think uh, any of the stress that I've had this past you know, 10 days or any of the anxiety I'm feeling getting ready for tech um, is just far overshadowed by the excitement that I feel for our students coming. Um, they bring a whole level of energy and excitement um, that is, is useful for a tired professional like myself um, in, in just kind of rejuvenating and reminding myself why I do the work and the excitement and the joy that can come to this work. So I'm so excited for, for our technical students to join us in the shops and contribute their talents um, to what we're doing. And I'm so excited for our acting students to arrive um, and um, to, see, um, to see these shows come to life. Serious prep for me began about a month ago. Um, I was interviewing staff to figure out what they were interested in teaching, uh, as well as sending the students a survey to figure out what those classes um, could do for them and if they were interested in these topics. Um, every class is different uh, and their interests vary, uh, especially this year with Lighting Academy being brand new. We have lots of lighting students here, so it's important to know what they're interested in. Um, I then begin uh, collaborating with those artists, with our, our staff, to figure out what those classes will be, how we'll present them, and then building a schedule out of that. Uh, most classes are taught by myself, um, but if it's an area that one of our teachers or one of our staff has like excellent experience in, then we want them to lead that class because it's, it's better to have a wide breadth of voices and experiences than just listening to me drone on about it. So we are getting ready for arrival day. It is 48 hours before the students start to arrive. We're going now to do one of the larger uh, coordination things of the summer that's getting all the vans that we used to take everybody to and from the theater every day. We have like a 23 minute trip to the theater. So van driver training. We had one van that's been here for a week that we've been uh, working with our, our van drivers, our student life drivers to practice and go through all the scenarios that they could have while they're transporting our actors and technicians safely every day. So now we're going to go pick up the rest of the vans, which um, we use every single summer. We'll have three vans that are in rotation for this session, then Essential Starts, we bring in two more, and then we'll add in one more when the Ragtime cast arrives, so lots of vans. <laughs> All right, you're good to go. Go back to housing, make sure that the mirrors, yeah. so you can see out of both sides on the curbs. You go, you go third. After this, uh -huh. Make sure you got the mirrors aligned. One, two, three, okay. and we'll take them back to housing. We'll just park them. Okay. And then I'll get all that stuff straight. When you're dealing with an operation like this where you've got not only running what, a, what is essentially a professional theater company, you're also dealing with students who are coming in to play parts, who are coming in to work backstage. So you're dealing with an educational portion um, that involves a responsibility of a portion for parents to be involved. So there's lots of communication aspects that needs to happen. That's where down there right now you've got our student life and company management team down there working to coordinate the flights for 40 something people to arrive in here on, on Monday. I'm kind of the middleman between Ben and Omar, our company manager, and his team of student life team members. And together we've been working on um, planning everything from like the arrival day schedule of when Ben and I are going to pick up students from the airport, getting grocery lists done, handing out key cards to employees, checking all the staff in. Um, creating gift bags for the kids for when they get here, t-shirt distribution. Um, it really feels like a lot of the time, like it's just little things, but it's all these little things that if one thing doesn't get done, then a lot of stuff around it falls apart. And so uh, one of the best things about this experience so far is just how tight Omar and I are. We've been able, I mean, first of all, he's just um, great. And uh, it's actually him right now. Um, but he and I just get along so well and are able to um, bounce off of each other almost constantly. So I am the company manager and that entails 
me having to have everyone's, I, I have to know everything about every single student <laughs> and every single staff member. Any sort of essential things that they need in order to function as artists on our campus, that's, that's what I do. Tonight is truly our only night to like finish housing mm -hmm. before all the walkthroughs. I'm, I'm currently working on our, our first day, our arrival day schedule. Um, I'm also trying to make sure that I have everything, like all the information that the staff needs as to how to welcome everybody here. Um, we're gonna have a lot of staff members at arrival day and now we're at the point where we're having to make sure that every single student has every single thing that they need prior to their arrival. And so we do have a good chunk of work left when it comes to preparing their housing. But in regards to like the whole summer preparation, we kind of like go through this big hump that is getting ready for the first group of kids. But after we kind of have that settled, it's just pretty smooth sailing for all the other sessions. I'm, I'm excited. But I'm also, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't a little bit nervous. So tomorrow, as Ben likes to say, is the Super Bowl of SSTI. Um, you'd think it's the actual show, but no, arrival day. Um, so we're gonna meet at housing. That's kind of the center of our universe tomorrow. And we're gonna be driving our passenger vans, which the students use to come to the theater every day, to pick up the students from the airport. Uh, in preparation for that, what I've been doing is creating, you'll see like, this is all flight groups. So we have group chats with all the students tomorrow. So we're able to communicate with them as they're going to the airport and we pick them up. There are about six flight groups. We've also been coordinating when drivers are going to get there. And so tomorrow, Ben and I will head out to the airport for the first time around 10.30. And then from then on, we're kind of just doing back and forth and back and forth. But we are now to the point where hopefully we're ready to welcome all the students, which is really exciting. I've been telling Ben I'm like not going to sleep tonight because I'm so excited for them to get here. A lot of stuff, a lot of things, but all of it doesn't really come to life until the students get here. So that's tomorrow. We've got all these platforms, all these things we've been painting. The staff has been working 10 hour days, uh, admittedly, to try to do a big push so that when the students get here, we can focus on not only the building of the show, but the education of the tech students, because that does take a, a larger portion of the day. It's, um, it's, we're building a show, but we're also teaching about technical theater. So we have to do a big push in advance. And that's what we've been doing over the last week and a half or so. And then tomorrow it, it all, comes to life in the building. The energy is recharged when the students come in and it kind of brings this whole place to life.